sound off. Video. Welcome to episode, uh, what is this, 91. Shout out on location. Yeah, shout out on location at the Bang Energy Drink Studios. The Bang Energy Drink Studios. (laughs) A Cigar Hustlers podcast. Oh, I'm too high. My my feet is too high, I believe. We We got a lot going on today. Um, I'm adjusting the wrong one. I wonder if the sound never changes. All oh, right. Oh, sound uh, better? We, oh, yeah. That sounds good. Okay. So you guys sound good? Sound good. I think we sound fantastic. Okay. Should we start with the big news? Yeah, we should definitely start with the big okay, news. Okay. Well, then uh, we're going to cut to the video. Because we have a new... And then we'll... We're going to cut to the video, and okay. then uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be right back. Boom. Oh, that's good. It's going... You hit the record button yet? On the camera, but not okay. on the board over here. Hello. Hello. All right. All right. So what are we doing? So we have a little special presentation for you. Oh. I'm going to record this as well so I can use it on the internet. Well, I can social say terms of social We'll cut media. this into the show. Yeah, we'll cut so, this into so the show. Earl, just... That'll happen. Fine. But uh, I have a present for you. Another present? Yes. Um... Oh. It's not for me. Oh. Just for the record. Gotcha. Who's it from? I'll tell you once you open it. Oh, holy shit, it's heavy. Yeah. Open it up. Another sticker on the back. I don't know where I'm on camera at. I, I got you on camera. I you can When you open it up, you can you can show the uh, the other people. It's upside down. Oh, it's so exciting. Such a process. It's so exciting. Such a process. It's like... Christmas. Uh-oh. Who yeah. is this? Who is this from? So that, what you have in your hands once you get out of that box, oh. is the Apple MacBook Pro Megalodon. What does that mean? Courtesy MacBook? of Skip Martin. Seriously? And the family at Roma Craft to oh, back. Isn't that nice of them? Well, yeah, thank you it's very much. fucking Look ridiculous. Wow. So, so now, well, you, thank you, Skip Martin and the family of Roma Craft. You can no longer complain about oh, now I have no a more shitty laptop from technical issues. Um, yeah, so Skip reached out to me and said, "Hey, you know, Merry Christmas, bitches." He sent that, and I was like, "Oh man, dude, he's gonna fucking freak." No shit. Uh, the mouse was from him as well. I had to, oh. I had to lie about that. Yes, yeah, the mouse. Um, but the, yeah, the mouse is from them as well. So he oh, megalodon. Yeah, it's got like over. It's a terabyte solid state. I mean, Holy it's crap. it's serious. Like, I just gonna throw this nineteen seventy two Apple in the trash. You're not even fucking like. Yeah, you're in two different worlds oh. right there. Um. So, so Skip said to me, he yeah. said, uh, I was like, wow, he's gonna shit, and you know, he said, well, it's not for you, it's for Palmer. So think, he wanted to make know what sure to say. specifically wow. that I, I this almost, is for you. Oh, look at this. So now. <laughs> This is next level shit here. Yeah, man. Wow. So, um, there you Holy go. Holy shit. Yeah. He oh. just totally blew all my gifts for you oh, out of the crap. water this over a year. This is the best year. thing I ever got. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Romacraft. No. See, I told you Skip liked you. Skip loved me. Skip's my favorite person. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm just, uh, I, I don't know what to say. This yeah. is amazing. That's kind of a big deal. Wow. Well, thank you. That'll never be another problem with the show again. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. So, I mean, I, I will tell you this. He did, he, like I said, he wanted to specify that that was for you. So I'm thinking that maybe he's going to send me the Raptor. I don't know. <laughs> you know. The truck? You're going to need the truck yeah. now. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So. Well, thank you. There oh, you this, go. This is great. All right. I, I like that it's awkward for you. It is. It's very awkward for me. Very this uncomfortable. Is, uh, it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. This is, uh, wow. I'm going to turn this off. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Man. So there you go. Wow. All right. We'll, uh, Fucking we'll a, cut man. this into the show. That right there. Well, cutting it into the show, you're going to be using it for the well, next show. Well, certainly. That's right. So we got to put something on there. Maybe we get a vinyl cut and put like. Oh, yeah. Put Roma Craft on the back of it. Yeah. Or, like, you yeah. Know, we could do that, certainly. Product of Roma Craft. Product of right here on the back shit. of the thing. Something big. Wow. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Wow. wow. Well, thank you, Skip Martin. Thank you, Skip Martin. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, and Michael Rosales. And too. Michael Rosales. If too. it came out of the Roma bank account, then, you know, right. he's yeah. half responsible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see him in a couple of weeks, maybe, so. Yeah. Yeah. So he, this, he's got uh, a hand is, job coming, at this least. This is really he's got, he's got He's got a hand job, the very wow. minimal. <laughs> the minimal? Yeah. I mean, you know, that's. 
Yeah. Well, I have to go right in the car. Just, you know, take care of it's things. It's nice. It's nice. You're turning red. I am. I'm very embarrassed. I like that. Yeah. Wow. Because the handy or because of the laptop? The laptop. This it's is, pretty stout. This is. It's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. Wow. No shit. All right. We're turning this off because I have no idea what to do now. Exactly. Right. And then, you know, now, you know, we take the Patreon to the next level and we build more cameras and uh, oh, we go shit. deeper. You just solved the biggest The, the biggest, biggest problem, problem we have is solved. It's now been fixed by. Skip Martin and Mike Rosales because, and the people at Roma Craft. Because we have great friends. We do. Wow. Guess this means we'll get invited to the party, too. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I told you how that book. I'm out. taking this with me to the party, by the way. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh. You leave it here. You oh. protect it with your life. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Because oh. if it gets broken, you can't get another one. Oh. I'm turning this off. All right. I got to turn the video off. Wait, the video. Oh, there we go. All right, uh, as you just saw from the video, uh, Romacraft oh, to back, Mr. My Skip Martin uh, purchased us a new computer. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Did sorry. not purchase us anything. Oh, sorry. He purchased me Correct. this lovely brand new 2019 Apple MacBook Pro Super Pro Kamehameha, Megal- Kamehameha Megalodon edition. thing. The screen is so big and bright. It's amazing. And the show probably sounds so much better. So he's so a- we have to restart the show now. We have to start over. Yeah, we start over. Okay. Welcome to episode 91 <laughs> of the Cigar Hustler podcast presented by Roma Craft Tobacco oh, and Mr. Skip Martin. Very nice. Oh, yes. As if we didn't mention them enough in the in the oh, fucking no, podcast. No, no, they're, they get product placement now for the show, and <laughs> I've changed my, my clothes oh, for you, my official show you, wear you, now. You look very nice. Thank you. It's amazing. Oh, it was way, way too, too much, too nice of them. Yeah. Yes. I sent him uh, all the secret shows over the weekend. You hooked him up with the Patreon I account. Him with pa- well, I can't make him a right, Patreon. Right. So just give him the. But video. I just so, we uh, we have a Dropbox that we communicate through for large files for different things, and uh, he answered back. Goes, "Oh, I'm a Patreon now." I said, "Oh, you like." 40 you, years of you, Patreon you definitely now. definitely earned Patreon. Definitely earned Patreon. I mean, to a point where now he's going to be the only person that has files additionally <laughs> other than you. So, like, right. he will have leverage. Have copies. I got to take like, the hat off, though. It's hot. He'll be like, I just want you to know, you know, <sighs> that bad review that you gave, I could deliver that video. <laughs> I could deliver that info. I could deliver it, that info. He got everything but show number two. For some reason, show number two does not exist anywhere. Okay. I don't oh. know what happened. But he got one, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm sure that he loves that. I'm sure he Very does. excited. I'm sure he does. You know? Yes. And now... He'll probably... He'll also get these the minute they're done. I'll send them to him through Dropbox. <laughs> 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 Mr. Martin, you no longer have to use any other type of app Mr. To, uh, Martin. Mr. Martin, sir. Wow. Mr. Martin. And Mr. Rosales. Thank Look you, too, that. sir. I appreciate hey, you that, know? gentlemen. Well, we're 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 uh, lucky enough to have some some great friends in the in the industry. That's oh, for sure. Yes, we do. I mean, it's just... It's pretty much just Skip and, and Michael, but, you know... Yes. I mean... I'd rather have a small circle than a big one with, you know, slap dicks that don't got our backs. So Yes, exactly. It was very, very nice of them. I like it because you're still nervous. Like, you're nervous nervous. again. I'm nervous again about the whole thing. You were nervous before when we did the last (laughs) video. Now now you're, like, a little disheveled, which is fantastic. Goodness gracious. So... So we're so moving. We will do a, uh, a Roma Craft to back new segment in every show. Well, the only and he asked you for a review. Yes, uh, give me a little bit of time to use the new laptop, and uh, there are some obvious differences, but I would like to make an entire yeah. List. Like for one, we sound better. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it sounds better to us. Wow, it's crazy. He's even hooked me up. He sent me an email. I have a thirty-minute person to person Apple seminar coming to me too oh he laptop. also did mention that we need to move the apple care into your name or the the company's name but we don't have a company yet so. oh well we will we will very soon yeah whatever apple care I, mean, I have apple care with this he's thing. got something he said you need to register it into oh so maybe that's part of the maybe it's not that. apple care but you need it registered in, into our name or oh. your name what are we going to call it a little company <sighs> oh mike and mike productions mike and mike productions mike and mike productions not side sladdle slap dicks or something? <laughs> slap dick ink. Yeah. You know what? We will make it whatever Skip wants us to make. There you go. <laughs> All right. We'll call it the Skip Martin uh, you production. You sold your soul uh, for, uh, a, for, for a laptop. <laughs> oh, this is not just a laptop, Michael. It's, yep, it's the it's the one. It has. I can't say, you know the word you say when you turn your phone on? Yeah. To get the little girl to do something? Yeah. This has it too. Yes, it does. That's how I turned on GarageBand today. Oh. <laughs> hey, Blank, GarageBand, please. Oh. Boop, boop. Except the phone tried to do it too. Life is good. Yes. 
All right. Huh. So moving Ooh, on now that we're still covered, hot back here. Now that we're covered in Romacraft, <laughs> we're doused in Romacraft tobacco. Wait till you get the tattoo on your forehead. That's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm Maybe li- just the little small, go. the little small thing down below the uh, microphone. I'm not, I'm not a tattoo kind of guy. I meant me, not you. Yeah, you should definitely do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree. You should, do, you should get your face tattooed. Yeah, like right under the eye. Right under the eye. Yeah, like, like a, a tear. Yeah, yeah, like uh, the tear, but it's the Roma side. The Roma thing. That'd be oh, perfect. That'd be nice. Yeah, Does that's that mean devotion. I killed, does that mean I killed him though? Uh, yeah, it's somebody like it's like prison. it's kind of like I don't know. It's like you're part of the gang and you got beat in to get there or something like oh, that. I don't know. Goodness gracious! So congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, moving on. We are moving on. We are officially officially a, a bang, bang account, account at the store. You can buy bang, and from what I understand, in the area, only place to get the delicious Miami cola. Very nice. That tastes like a cola. <laughs> Not like diabetes. Uh, now, I got to give you credit for this. What? Because, you know, you left, you saw that the bang truck was in the vicinity, and yes. you said, hey, you need to go talk to that guy. Right. So like, right, I w- get him. Tell I, him who we are. I, w- I walked up to him thinking that, you know, he was just the delivery guy. And I said, hey, you know, I, I need to, who do I need to talk to you? Who's your sales rep? I need to carry, I want to carry your product in our store. We tried calling the office, and we... You know, to, we've had no luck. He's like, yeah, the office is probably just, you know, bogged down. Oh, yeah, I would imagine. He's like, I'm, I'm the sales rep. I'm like, yeah? I said, yeah. I said, okay, so, like, you can just give me stuff off the truck then? And he goes, <laughs> yeah, just tell me. And, like, he, he was kind of reserved. Like, he didn't realize. He didn't know what to do? He didn't. It's not that he he didn't know what to do. It's just that he didn't know what, that we that I was so versed when it comes to oh, all the different banks. So yes. he's like, so, you know, what are you thinking about carrying? I said, I'll take a unicorn, <laughs> I'll take a cherry blade lemonade, I need a star blast. I'll take, I'll take star blast, I'll take a cotton candy, and I'll take the new one. He goes, Miami Cola? I go, yep, that too. And he's like, okay. You and I alone will drink enough to keep it flowing. So, in yeah, so uh, we, we we officially became a bank account last week. We need to reorder already because uh, oh, really? <laughs> uh, we're damn near out. So. Oh, that's yeah. great. So, um, and it's in the cooler, we serve it cold. So, so there you go. It's got so its own shelf in the cooler. We're officially... We're officially Bang certified. Bang. That's where we got our cans from. Our, oh, we should have him on the show. The guy? Oh, that would not nah, be good. Yeah, probably not. No. no probably so not. Um, I, got a, I got a new idea for a flavor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They have some new coffee flavors that I'm still looking for. Yeah. Well, we can get whatever you want. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> just, we're, we're just there's no problem. Just say, hey, I'll take a case of this. I'll take a case of the peanut butter chocolate chip uh, coffee thing. But I got a good name for one. Yes. Like a good flavor profile. Yes. I don't think they'll ever do it. <laughs> But what? they did do birthday cake, so hey, you never know. <laughs> they they've come out with a caffeine free birthday cake. Too. Yeah, it sounds mm. still as sweet. Well, like the, the ad for it is if you crave it a bang, but it's late at night. Right. So you don't want the caffeine. Good. Okay. Uh, I, don't know. I can fall asleep. So, uh, I could take a bang and fall asleep. It doesn't matter. Oh, hmm. So what is the flavor you'd like, Michael? Gorilla piss is what I'd call it. <laughs> <laughs> What's it going to taste like? I like a rainbow sherbet or something and then make make it oh. blue. I think that'd be awesome. The only one that's colored is, is the, the cola. cola. And yeah. It's brown like cola. And so, But like if, if they did gorilla piss and it was like blue or marketing purple. Marketing wise, that might be a little bit Could you problem. imagine walking like Circle K and like, hey, did you get gorilla piss? <laughs> <laughs> It might flow with their marketing scheme. Who I knows? think it'd be awesome. They could have a guy dressed in a gorilla suit. So I'm just putting that out there. I mean, you know, it's a, oh. you know. I do follow the CEO on uh, Instagram. Ba- yeah, Bang Energy Bang CEO. CEO guy, yeah. Yeah. Gorilla piss. Gorilla piss. I think it'd be amazing. <laughs> it's just a little sour? <laughs> no, it'd be. I think it'd be sweet. Oh. But, you know. I don't know what gorilla pee tastes like. Right? But, you know, it's just kind of like, I don't know, I feel like badasses would drink it, you know. Oh, you workout people. That's yeah, right. workout people. What do you have after you work out? A little gorilla piss. What oh. about you? What do you drink before you work out? <laughs> uh, I drink gorilla piss. Like, okay. Oh. Uh, not Let's not mess with that. They guy. can put whatever the thing is that makes your skin itchy in it when on the pre workout. The niacin? Oh, that's right. Niacin. B12. Niacin. All right. So, yeah, gorilla piss. All right, moving on. All right, moving on. Um, I have some industry news. Yes. The sale of the Imperial Cigar Division is expected to be announced in the coming weeks, and the bidding has been significantly narrowed. We talked about this uh, several episodes ago. All right. Well, I don't remember, and I don't fact check, so let's go. What uh, do you got? Potentially to less than a handful of remaining bidders, one from Hong Kong, one from the Middle East, and another from a consortium being represented by the former Davidoff Management. This is the uh, the Altus company buy. Altus? Altus? Why did I say Altus? Altus. Altus. Yeah, what's the name of the big company? That okay, so so here, let me just let me dumb this down for you. Dumb it down a little bit. I'll tell you who the winner is going to be. 
Okay. The one that says Davidoff next to it is yeah. going to be your guy. You think they're going to get it? Yeah. Do you want to know what all, what all they get in this package? Sure. Is it like uh, They get Altidus USA, Casa de Monte Cristo. At the end of it, is there like a, but wait, there's more? <laughs> But wait, if you order now, you Flora get two de companies. Copan, a cigar factory in Honduras. Never heard of them. 50 per- 50% stake in Habanos. JR Cigar, the second largest cigar retailer in the world. Yeah. Tabula Cadera de Garcia, the world's largest cigar factory. And stakes in local Habanos distributors around the world. Estimate that the Imperial could generate between $1.3 and $2 billion from the sale of the premium business. So are, are the cost estimate, of I'm still talking. Also estimates that the so what else cigar is new? business if generates I have to talk 450 over you, million get a word in revenue in. and earns 111 million in profit annually. See what happens? He gets a fucking laptop, and now all of a sudden he's you know hey, king shit. This I'm, is my show. I'm talking. This is my show. So does Casa de Monte Cristo is that included in that? That's included. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, mention so. That, um, Yes, Casa de Cristo, a chain of high-end retail stores, some owned by Imperial and others owned by franchise operators. Okay, so when when are they thinking that the sale is going to go through? Uh, in the coming weeks. They've narrowed and the bidding done. down to four people. I don't think the people from Hong Kong will buy. they got enough problems going on there. It's going to be the Davidoff guy. It's always the Davidoff guy. You don't think Welcome the to the cigar industry. Middle East, guys from the Middle East, a bunch of Arabs. It's going to be the Davidoff Hello, guy. Hello, we'd like to buy these cigars. It's always the Davidoff guy. So, um... Uh, I personally, yes, I cannot wait until the sale happens and it's just done for because, you know, ah, Scandinavian Tobacco Group—that was the name I was looking for earlier. Because here's the deal: when it comes to you know somebody selling something, you minimize your inventory, you expand, you know, you try and show the most profit as possible, right? So you hold back on sales. So you know, there hasn't been a tremendous amount of Poshik sales through Santa Clara. Because oh yeah yeah is Santa Clara the same thing as Jr. Yeah, they tighten their budget. Ah. And when they tighten the budget, they want to show profits. You know, right? You, you, you don't buy as much shit. People have been trying to bite in pieces. Should I should I add allegedly to that? I mean, allegedly, allegedly yeah. we have received no uh, no fallback from last week. So. That was amazing. I, I, maybe nobody listens. Who cares? <laughs> No, good stuff, but we've received no legal notices for anything well, we I allegedly mean, you know, said. I don't think that we, because we're you know we're just honest. We weren't we're not trying to shit yeah, on we, anybody. Uh, you know? I should have counted. I think we said allegedly seventy two times. <laughs> well, I just said it once now. <laughs> there you go. Who uh, people have been trying to buy it in pieces, but they want to sell it all as one big. Of chunk. course, yeah, get more money. Break it up at devalues. Well, so. if you, I don't think so. If you break it up, you probably sure get does. more money out of it. Yeah, but it's harder to sell a bunch of pieces in yeah. one big one big sale. But a businessman, a smart businessman, could go in, buy it, and then break it down. And make oh, more sure, money. that's what those uh, those Part traders do. Yeah, sell it for parts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and other news, since he's such a fan and a friend of the show, Crux Cigars, Mister Casey. Yeah, uh, they've uh, the first round of their new look, Crux Cigars before the is off to the stores. Crux has announced it is to begin shipping the updated packaging versions of its Epicure, Epicure Maduro, and the Guild Blends. While the look is slightly different, the company says the cigars are the same. The next round of lines to get updated will be the Limitada, the Bull and Bear. The Limitada? Limitada. The Limitada. The Limitada. Limitada. Hot potato. Hot potato. Hot Fragile. Potato. Bull and Bear, which I'm not familiar with the Bull and Bear, which the company says we'll we ship it. later. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Ship later this year. Okay. Casey's, first of all, hold on. Casey's a big fan of the show? Casey Hogan's been on the f- show three times. Yeah, but he's not like a listener. He's a friend of the show. Oh, okay. I'm sure he's a fan also. So we're really excited about the new packaging. The new packaging actually looks really good. He's helping Casey by making the announcement. You're such a our, sweet man. Our wide range of listeners we have. Yeah. In Pakistan. Pakistan. We're not that far yet. Don't jump ahead and it's not Pakistan. <laughs> well, yeah, that was last week. That uh, was last week, yes. <coughs> oh. Last week, yeah, but yeah. We, we have an addition this week, too. Oh, is it on that piece of paper? Oh, God. That's a piece of paper. Oh. We're not going to show up to yet. Yet, it show up to yet. What do you got over there on your piece of paper? What do you got? What do you got? I can tell you that someone broke into my car last night. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, where did that happen? In uh, your driveway? Yeah. You have so many cameras, you didn't catch I them? I know. I don't know. I could look, but it's not worth my time. Was it the bear? I, I mean, first of all, it's my fault. I I guess I left my car unlocked. Oh, yeah. My wife yells at me every night. Did you lock your car? Yeah, I usually lock it. But well, Honey, it's a Nissan Versa. What do they think they're going to get? So, but like, here's the thing. Like, yes. I have nothing of value in my car. Yeah, but you do have a high-end brand of car. It's not a high-end yeah. car, but the brand is. So, when I opened my car door, yes, everything that was in the console was out. So, they were looking just, for valuables. Just some fucking paperwork. And, uh, <laughs> and like, my glove box was left open. 
and nothing was taken. They didn't take the 72 lighters that are in there? No, there's no <laughs> they didn't take anything. Huh. They left the cigars, too. So <laughs> like, fuck these things. So here's the thing. Like, I really feel, I washed my car like yeah. two weeks ago. I never washed my car. I shouldn't have done oh, it. Oh, you think that they're like, they're like oh, that car's nice and shiny. I bet you there's something of value. So, I mean, you know. I could go and search through the cameras and see a suspicious person going through my car, but you know, for one, what's that going to do? And for two, I don't. Maybe you recognize who it is. There's nothing of value in there, anyways. So. Was your brother at your house over the weekend? So only my brother can rummage through my stuff at any given time. But I say maybe it was your brother. Maybe. Does your wife always jump on you to lock your car? Did you say? Uh, no, not really. I mean, my wife would would jumble through my car to make it look like somebody broke in just to get me to start locking mm, my car. That's devotion. So, yeah, so uh, I had to rearrange my shit. Thanks for uh, messing up on my shit today. Oh. Well, we were supposed to go to the uh, bacon brew thing in DeLand, but we ended up going to the uh, German festival in uh, oh, Sanford. Oh, Sanford. Wunderbach. Uh, Wunderbach. And we kept running into people we knew as oh. we walked through <laughs> the thing. Yeah, well, that didn't, you know, you're, was, you're a big deal. Well, I don't know about that. You know, look at the Roma love that you're surrounded by it now. Well, you know, yes. this is crazy. Well, I didn't run into anybody from Roma Craft, unfortunately. Oh. Hmm. But uh, we did run into uh, Greg's oh, friend. Nice. Ex-friend. I've already cleared this. He said I can talk about it. Oh, you've, re- oh, you, you've been approved. <laughs> I've been approved. I was, I'm ready to shut it down. You're like, oh, that's like, oh. Uh She was with uh, Emil. Yeah, of from course. From Gordorba Morales. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I see Emil waiting in line to buy her tickets. And, of course, you know, they're like, oh, it's Emil. I didn't recognize her because she had sunglasses on. Not Emil, but, oh. but the other person. So I didn't hug her or nothing. I just hugged Emil and then I walked back over. Uh oh. <laughs> and then she sees my wife, so Emil runs out of line and I'm standing there. Still didn't know who she was. A few minutes later she uh. walks over and takes her glasses off and gives me that oh, I thought maybe we weren't talking because, you know. I'm like, No, I just didn't recognize you. Oh, she said Not that. A big deal. Yeah. Oh, the words on the outskirts. Right. So then we, you know, say No, hello. you're you're totally fine. You're totally fine. You're, we, we, have no, fine. we have no problem with no you. No problem with you. I mean just I just don't get with him. <laughs> Stay away from him. <laughs> we wish you the best so, over there. We wish you the best over there. That's right. As long as you're, you know, not with him, it's fine. We don't right. care. Uh, then later in the day, we're at Celery City. We run into them again. Mm. <laughs> then they sit down and uh, join us for a cigar. And well, was that's weird. Awkward small talk. Yeah, for good. about fifteen minutes. Then uh, let's see who showed up. Then uh, Drew showed up. Oh, one of our patreons, mm-hmm. Mr. Patron Drew, Drew Carpenter. And then uh, his mother, mm-hmm. and then Slappy, Slappy showed Slappy up. Slappy showed up. Oh wow! And then uh, Mr. and Mrs. Baldwin showed up. Oh, the doctor and his wife. Quite the party. Saturday night. Saturday, Saturday day. Oh wow! Saturday day, and then uh, Drew's mother. You already said that. Did I say Drew's mother? Yeah. Oh, and then some friends of the Baldwins that we know through the Baldwins. It, oh. it got to be quite the you little. Had, you had a party. Quite the, quite the little crowd. Well, we ran into people at different points in mm-hmm. the city. Yeah, you know, we stopped and saw Jimmy at uh, Celery City Cigars. Mm-hmm. Very very long day. We were there noon till oh like six. It was a very long day. Oh, very nice. Very long day of drinking and things. Well, not for me, but you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know. Uh, we went. We went drinker. to. We went to Tuffy's, which is a bit of a walk, but they have a huge outdoor area with a boat that you could sit in to sit in ice. So I a had drinking a, boat. Uh, well, it's a drinking smoking boat this yeah, weekend. Yeah, you can drink on. Yeah. Well, like a, it's like a drinking car. It's got a booth in it. Yeah, same way. Yeah, like right. the drinking Ferraris you, you, we're all going to buy. You get in a Ferrari yeah. and get drunk. Just yep. don't, you, you just, just can't drive. It's a drinking car. It's a drinking you boat. Just don't drive. It was a lot of fun. No keys in the ignition. We really like downtown Sanford. Yeah, me too. A lot of stuff going Huge on. Huge fan. Uh, I heard a slight story about your weekend. Yeah? That we would like to address here on the air. We're at 20 minutes, so oh, we'll just go ahead and let it go. Shit. <clears throat> I heard there was something that your wife wanted you to do. And there is a conflict with your uh, with, with your date. Your brother told me about this as he's sitting in the back seat of your car. <laughs> is this okay? Can we keep going? Sure, go ahead. And you asked her, you asked her, well, you didn't check with Palmer to see if I was free. <laughs> so now I can't have these conversations in front of my brother, apparently. <laughs> you know, I count on you guys to kind of have this all sorted out for me. But, she, you know, apparently. She got on you with like, you're not that big a deal, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I need to handle these things myself. So. Is, is it the event next weekend? Yeah. Because we cleared that with her several weeks ago. I thought so. Yes, we did. You got to understand. Okay, she is like at capacity of pregnancy. Oh, yes. I so, so I like to give her kind of football terms. 
And I say that she's, you know, she's operating at about 65% right now. <laughs> so she's not, you know, it's not low enough for us to put her on IR for the rest of the year. Uh, um, but, you know. Which is injured reserve. You know, yeah, oh, exactly. See, I knew that. But, but she's got a lot going on. So, right. you know, she's missing a couple things. It's okay. It's all right. You know, yeah. we still love her. And, you know. Everything's fine. She's creating life. It takes a lot out of you. I just, just found it funny that you threw my name. <laughs> I was like, well, did, did you talk? Did, did well, you talk to Palmer? Did you clear that? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. So I can't do that. I have to. I gotta. I'll have to work on my calendar moving forward. Oh, can we set up some way through the phone where it's all shared between the three of us? Yeah, I think. I think that'd be acceptable. Uh, that should be how we do it. Oh, I am now also your brother's assistant too. So I no, absolutely not. <laughs> well, the reason that happened is there's a rep coming in tomorrow that some reason contacted me over the weekend to see what time he should come in on Tuesday. <laughs> That's lo- I love that. Yeah, so I texted your brother late Friday night, and he called me. He was like, oh, you never text me late at night. I figured there was something wrong. What do you need? And I'm like, no, no. Are you, what time Tuesday are you <laughs> free for this rep to come by? Somebody want on the show or no? Uh, Adrian from HR. Oh, we, he, you know, we can put him on if we've... Uh, tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow. Maybe if we're here. We'll see. <laughs> maybe if we're here. It depends on how late we're here. I'll uh, reach out to my wife and let me know if I'm better. I'll let you know if you're clear tomorrow afternoon. I told him, don't show up except between 1230 and 5. That's the only time you're going to catch a Stefan Cabbage at the shop. Wow. The guarantee to catch one. Right. Which is what it is. So, uh-huh. um, real quick before we go to break. Because we're, we're everywhere. You're very busy. Very yeah. busy man. Of yeah. course, your wife apparently doesn't think you're that busy. <laughs> yeah, you know. But this Saturday, we will be at Cigar Life. We're shooting an episode on location. Can't wait to see that, how that Cigar disaster Life in Lakeland. rolls out. But we do, <coughs> we do have the shiny new computer, so maybe. Uh, we'll it better. will not be making the trip. We do not need it for the setup. Wow. I'm not very taking, protective I'm of very your new computer. Very protecting, yes, where this thing goes and what, it, what happens with it. It's, it's supposed to be used. It is going to be used. All right. But that doesn't mean it has to travel. I think it does. No. Okay. No. And the setup we're using for the, uh, <clears throat> for the 19th. I think we're also going to do a daily wrap up uh, from the hotel when we're in. Well, Arizona. I'm going to try and get Lenny on. We, oh, we can do that. We can set it up. I talked to want. him about it. He said that he's down, so we'll see. Oh, we'll little, see how he conveys. Little mini show from Lenny's. Yeah, we'll test it out, and um, you know, he's a great guy, and he's my kind of crazy. So we could always just start. We could do a little uh, segment that we plug into a larger show, where okay. you just interview him. That's not yeah. a problem, we, we especially that. with the you know. The new equipment. Shun will be doing picture in picture, and it's amazing. Might add a second camera wow. because I feel like I've been watching YouTube videos out the ass all weekend. Like, See oh, that? that's how you do that. Da, da, Thank da, da. you, Skip. Thank you, Skip. Rejuvenated the, him. You've, you've brought, you've put life back well, into Mr. Palm. Biggest difference between this lovely 2019 Apple MacBook Pro Megalodon, Megalodon. yeah, and our 1982 Apple <laughs> computer. Uh, it would not run iMovie. It was so old. Right. Because it was an update that was needed, and it would just tell me, your computer is too old to run iMovie at this time. And here you are, just living your best life. Here I am, living my best life. <clears throat> okay. So this week's uh, Cigar Hustler update we are shooting, John will be able to have the little photo next to him where he could, just, he could actually point to oh. that if he wanted to. But <clears throat> it can be video or a still photo. Nice. It's Very nice. nice. Um, what else you got? Uh, we're going to break here. Okay. We're at uh, 24 minutes. Let's take a break. And then we'll come back. We have a uh, we have a show update. Yeah, and I got some news. You got some news. Yeah. And then uh, I have one other thing to go over. So we'll be, uh, we'll be right back. We'll All right. And we're back to uh, Cigar we're Hustler back. Podcast, episode 91, presented by Roman Craft <laughs> Tobacco. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so we have a show update. Yeah. <clears throat> we would like to welcome Portugal. Portugal. To the Cigar Hustler family. Ooh, and thank nice. you to Sophia P. Now, I cannot pronounce your last name, Sophia. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's, it appears to be Gomez, G-O-M-E-E-S. Yeah, Gomez. Her uh, IG is Sofia P. Gomez. Yeah. She's our new friend in Portugal. Okay, so now I have questions. Yes. Okay, so this is, this is the second person you've reached out to? Uh, second country, yes. Okay, yes. and uh, another woman. Uh, they seem to respond faster than... So what's going on here, Mr. Palmer? Uh, oh, and <clears throat> if you look up Sofia, she's quite the attractive You're young You're trying lady. to get hoes in different area codes? Is that what's going on? <laughs> different countries? Different countries? countries? From when we go on the road? Uh, no, I usually try to start out with the tourist division of a particular country, mm-hmm. but uh, 
they don't seem to want to, you know, they're not interested. But young ladies want the notoriety, it, it appears, to uh, get their name set on a highly rated podcast, as I tell them. <laughs> quite popular. Oh, in, so you're lying to them. Quite popular in the United States and soon to be around the world. To have their name said and be tagged on next week's video oh my of God. the Cigar Hustler podcast presented by Roma Craft Tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> so epic. So epic. So, so yes. So, so, they, you, so you're hitting on bitches in different uh, different countries. Very nice. Uh, I hit on guys too, but they don't, like, they don't want to reply. A well, lot of soccer well, players well, in Portugal, but soccer players apparently think they're famous enough. They don't need uh, help from Cigar Hustler. So when podcast. you hit on the dudes, you like do you have your shirt off or anything like that? Or? There's no photos exchanged. Maybe that's why it's not working. Maybe. Maybe you should just drop a shirtless <laughs> picture to some of these dudes. <laughs> like, hey. Hey. This is what you're missing out on. This is what you're missing out on the show here. Would you like me to mention your name? I can mention your name and talk very slowly in with, with lower the, register. With this shirt off. With the shirt off. That'd be epic. Uh, we have a listener of the week. Yes? Oh. Um, Uh-oh. That moment when you realize you screwed somebody no, out no, no, of no, being no, listener no. of the week. No, no. We mentioned okay. the, the gentleman who sent us the uh, slapstick shirt last week, so we didn't make him again listener this week. Mm-hmm. But um, we will have a gong that we have been so desperately needing. What? The gong will be here tomorrow. Did you order it? I ordered a gong. You ordered a gong. I ordered a gong. We'll have a gong for the listener of the week. This is becoming more and more like a game <laughs> show. <laughs> and you, gong, our listener of the week. Wow. Where are you going to put that? You're going to have to start moving some I'm, stuff around. I'm going to need a. I'm going to need a bigger desk. You're going to have to start thinning some of this out. No, no, the gong's going to go on the desk, so I can. Oh, it's a little gong. It, it's a little. Yeah, no, I did not it's buy not a like gong a... the size of this. Okay. Sorry, no. okay. Yes, I have to stand up. We're going to have a shirtless uh, Asian man who just goes. That? That's racist. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway, listener of the week is Mr. Justin Littlefield. Yeah? He came in uh, this past week to get some help with his podcast. Ah. Mr. Littlefield has Asperger's, and then he does his own podcast about his life, dealing with that in his everyday life. The podcast is called Defining My Ooh, Meaning. A nice little plug. Yes. And we'd like to thank you for him coming in and chatting with us. It's very nice meeting you. Look at uh, you. Unfortunately, I don't know how we could combine our two podcasts, Justin. I just don't see how that would work. Uh, as I do not have Asperger's, and I don't know if you know much about cigars, so I don't know. He's a cigar guy. He comes in here and smokes well, cigars. Well, oh, does he? Yeah. I thought he he came in, saw the sign, asked us some questions, and hung out, and then left. Didn't buy anything. I thought maybe he... No, he's bought Have you seen before. him in here before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. That makes it a little less... Uh, awkward? I mean, it's still awkward that he did it, but whatever. <laughs> okay, we have a new subscriber on YouTube. We now have 125 subscribers on YouTube. Hey-o! And since the numbers aren't going as fast as, as we like on uh, YouTube, going yeah. up, I found essential tips to get uh, YouTube subscribers <laughs> in 2019. Okay. Okay. There are several things here on the list. We do some and some we don't do. Yeah. So we need to start incorporating some of these. Okay. But the number one thing that you should – I know how you love a list, Michael. You yeah. love a list. Love it. Love a list. Uh, the number one thing you should plan and create a script for your videos. Oh, that's out. Oh, it's right there. Oh. We do that. Okay, yeah, we do that. Create highly informative and engaging content. Mm, we definitely do that. Oh, we do that. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, sorts of information sure. here. Yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah, of yeah. Increase your consistency and frequency of uploading videos. Show up every week. Yeah, I was going to say, we do that too because yep. every week. It's up on the same day. Hashtags. They Hash- talk about hashtags. Hashtags. I put up every Monday the reminder with some type of funny little thing. Did you see this week's? No. Oh, well, everybody else saw it, I guess. So not you. Huh. Uh, start I'll, with an- I'll go back and watch it for you. It's just a photo. I'll go back and look okay. at it for you. Start with an intro and outro that keeps people interested. Mm, we, we have do, that. We do that. We have uh, that. Yeah, that. Design attractive Check. video thumbnails. I do that. You do that? I do that every week. The thumbnail is usually uh, this. No, but now you can we, mix it up the, with your you know, with your fancy iMovie. Oh, there is ways to do title screens yeah. and stuff, which we will incorporate yeah. into the videos. Yeah, yes, yeah. we will start small and get bigger. Check. <clears throat> now we go into the things that Here's we don't. what we're not doing. Here's what we're not doing. Optimizing your titles. Okay. Which means to do this, one way is to set up an offbeat and distinctive title for your YouTube video. Usually it's just episode, like this will be episode 91, um, news industry and information. news. Yeah, industry news, information, right. that kind of stuff. So that, that, so it uh, should say episode 91, gorilla piss, is what it should say. Right, something right. Really, correct, exactly. exactly. This will generate some curiosity in viewers. To because everybody wants title. to know what the hell the gorilla piss is that's about. That's right, yeah. so that's what it will be. Sorry, You're sorry, welcome. Man. Thank you. <clears throat> write smarch, write smart. Smarch. Write smart. Write some smarch. <laughs> I added two, I put two words together. 
right? Smart and searchable descriptions. Mm, Video like. descriptions are very high helpful in getting YouTube subscribers to your channel. As you find your videos in search as well as written descriptions with good keywords that make your channel rank high in YouTube search results. For yeah. this, what? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sounds like it's on you, bud. Yeah, yeah, that's on me. Yeah. Uh, so I do use the tags, but apparently you need to put the tags into the I, description. I can't believe we're reviewing the entire list. Go ahead. No, no, there's only 10. Okay. Where are we but at? But half we did and half we didn't. We're, okay. we're at number uh, eight, eight now. Okay. We're doing number okay. eight. All right. Number eight, use YouTube annotations to increase your reach. I'm not exactly how sure that how this works, but it seems like it's more video editing using the YouTube software. Mm. If you'll notice when you watch YouTube videos, there'll be a little thing that shows up sometime on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Click here for more information. Well, there's a way to do that, which I have to learn how. I'll have to figure that to where out. You screw that they, up a couple times, and then you'll be good yeah, to go. Yeah, click that, and they automatically become subscribers, that type of thing. Okay. Select a suitable video category. Most people search uh. by categories based on their interests and likes, so you may sure like one that mm. suits the most of your video. Uh, there's only op there's certain options. I think we always go under either culture or hobbies. Right. It's one or the other. Yeah. It's kind of hard to decide where we go. There's not like a, uh, you know, we could go into mm. humor, I guess. I, guess, you I know, think hobbies is probably the way to go. Hobbies instead yeah. of culture? Yeah. Okay. And then finally, edit like a mad and creative artist. Make sure you're good at editing because when it comes to editing, you need to let your ruthless creative mind, ruthless creative mind, oh, that's, that's an incorrect sentence, Editing makes a video much more effective and shows your sense of professionalism as well. Well, with the new Apple laptop, Macintosh Pro, Megalodon from Romacraft to back, we will, our editing will definitely increase as I learn how to use iMovie and get away from the slapdick software. So the title is now Gorilla Piss and Megalodon. Gorilla Piss and Megalodon, yes. Excellent. Yes. So that is it. Those are the, so we have five so, things to work so on. So you're 50% there. That's what I figured, yeah. yeah oh, you know, going on our third year, 50%. Good job. So by the end of the uh, fourth year, we will be 100%. All right. Can we talk about something else now? Yes. That's all I have for this week. Thank so God. this wraps up a Cigar Whew. Hustler podcast presented by Roma Craft. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. You have something. Oh, I forgot. I got my own stuff. Forgot. Man. I'm I got sorry. one thing left. It's a big one for me. Oh, we're at 30 minutes. Okay. We need to stretch it on another 30 minutes. Oh, well, I mean, I have no problem stretching We could talk it about all the different cigars that Roma Craft no, I, offers. No, I'll tell you what I want to talk about. Yes. What would you like to talk about? I'd like to talk about Show Gui. Oh, yeah, this you will kill 30 minutes. You forgot. I did. So we have a friend, a mutual friend, who is has a connection with the factory who produces the Shogui cigars. Now, In the Dominican Republic. In the Dominican Republic. Now, I usually handle the representation for this cigar. Um, I've been asked countless times over the past year what the hell is going on with the cigar. Um, our, our dear friend Victor... Who owns a company? I don't know what's going on with him. He's um, he's. I've in, heard several rumors. He's in construction. He's in. I don't know what he's doing. What, have you heard any rumors about him coming back in the industry? Oh no, that's not all. Okay, no. so things about women and losing his mind and oh, well, broken heart. And, allegedly. Allegedly. Okay, so um, I can like from back here. There's still. Something I know. Like this, I don't. This is crazy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I can't do that with this. Though. So um. So anyways. Well, of course, mine is set perfect. Yeah. You just slapdick sitting right. in there without the new computer. Thanks. So um, <laughs> Presented so we have crafting. we have a mutual friend. Yes. And I had him reach out to the factory and yeah. say, hey, look, because there's product there that's just sitting. And I said, hey, you know, I reached out to Victor. I didn't hear back from him. Oh, I was gonna say, did you? I said, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the stuff at the factory." Now, I didn't say that I wasn't I was gonna cut him out because I'm not that kind of guy. Right. I would still pay him. Oh, you know? look at you! Fuck yeah, what a guy! What do you know about me, dude? No, no, no. That, I'm, I'm not, I'm not guy? surprised. I'm not surprised right. at all. No, am, no. Am but I, I, you know what? That thought didn't even cross my mind. I'd make sure that he's compensated. That one's very nice of you. Such a nice man. Um, for such a large, angry person. So, but I take care of my friends. Yes, that's true. You do. I mean, I have this. <laughs> that wasn't me. I don't know, um, but my connection with you put made my connection with them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so, I would like to feel though at some point he would have just bought me one anyway. Yeah, it's probably because he would have been a fan of my individual show. He's I a fan guess. of you. He's not a fan of me. He's a fan of you. He's a fan of the show. Yeah. So, anyway, I had our mutual friend reach out to the factory and said, "Hey, look, you know." The guy who handles the distribution of the product wants to carry, wants to wants to purchase what you have. What do you have? Because there are a lot of retailers that still want the product. Right. Right. People are so asking for it. It's easy to kind of fill that need, fill the void. 
Because it is one of my favorites. People ask me sometimes. They'll go, so what's going on? Where are you getting this? Keep the system, the supply line going, you know, and keep everybody happy. Everybody makes money. So this motherfucker. Factory owner now. We asked. Not Victor. The, fa- the factory owner, right? We asked, you know, well, what, what do you want us to pay for, for the product? He says $4 a stick. Now, let me break that down for you guys because you don't know anything about the, or maybe you don't know anything about the cigar industry. Now, pre. Wait, should this be a Patreon? Are you going to tell how cigar pricing works? I don't give a shit. Oh, I'm going to break it down. I'll, I'll break it down really fast. Um, Please go ahead. Listen, just because, you know, Patreons get, get really good stuff, but so do our they listeners. God damn yes, it. Yes, yes, they do. So, $4 a stick pre wholesale. Then you got to pay for shipping and taxes that means that that cigar landed is probably five and change right now on top of that it'd be nice to make a little bit of money on the product right so let's say that i wholesaled it at six maybe 650 a stick which is still light right that means that the cigar retails at 13 or 14 dollars here's where the big hit comes and it's it's totally priced out of the fucking market cigars are all turnkey so it just so instead of so this guy's been sitting on this product for over a year. And instead of saying, "Hey, you know what? Here's the fair price for it. You know, let me know we can handle the we can handle the transport, all yada yada." He turns around and he fucking box at me with this ridiculous price. So what did I respond to uh to um, our friend? Uh I don't remember what you came back with. Remember what the what the next price was though. Well, the next my he, Oh, you you did you did say, "Well, I'll just this is great podcast material." No, before that, I said, oh. "We don't negotiate." Oh, yeah, we don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> we don't negotiate with terrorists. I'm done. I'm not going to I'm not even going to the table with this guy. Right. Like that's ridiculous. That is the like the most obnoxious obnoxious thing I've ever heard in my life. So, here's and the reason why I want this to be public knowledge yes. is because of the fact that there are a lot of people that are in love with this industry. Right. And a lot of people want to be involved in this industry, right? Yes. So, and they don't know what exactly it takes and cost, and you know, and and there's a right, whole works. there's a whole elaborate process to get it into the United States. I mean, not even talking about FDA substantial equivalency and all that other bullshit, right? So, if you decide to get in the cigar industry. And you're in a third world country, and they're telling you four dollars a stick before it even leaves the country. They are flat out fucking you and taking tremendous advantage of you, and you're just going to lose all your money. So, don't do that. So I don't understand why he's wanting so much. I mean, wait, you can. I'll, I could tell you why. Well, you can. Well, hold on. You can back it up and figure out what he's got into it. That's not hard to do, right? Or what he would normally sell it at. I could tell you why. Okay, go ahead. He's trying to fuck us and oh. take advantage. It's just that simple. What, do you he think wants... you just don't know what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, he just figured this is just some figured, guy who hey, wants I'm to buy gonna, I'm just going to rape it and be done. Right. Because normally probably somebody else would think, oh, $4 is great. I bring it here. Yeah, that's a great that, price. That's a great price. $4 a stick. It's not even normally close. normally that costs, you know, because what, they sell between 7 and 9 here, right? Right. Seven and ten or eight and ten. Like nine, eight, nine bucks, something like that. Right. So they're thinking, oh, I just, it's half price. You know, it's great. Right, but and then he's, he's, you got to pay Uncle Sam. You got to right. pay to get he, it here. People don't realize that he's he's taken a complete step out. Right, you he's gotta, bumped himself up. Right, so he's just flat out pricing. So so here you have a guy that's flat out trying to take advantage of a situation, and that isn't a person that I'll do business with. Period. Right, that guy can go fuck himself. So if you're friends with that guy, you can tell him I said it, because <laughs> I don't give a shit. Have you ever met that man? Well, no, and no. maybe I have. I might have. Yeah. I, I honestly might have. But you know, here. But the sad part is, is that's one of the major things that's wrong with this fucking industry, is people like him taking advantage of people that are trying right. to he, build. He's something. trying to make himself the wholesaler. No, he's just trying to screw somebody over for a one no, run. But it, wouldn't that be the roughly the wholesale? No, price? not even that. No, not even that. He's not. He's not. Even, he's not even thinking about that. He doesn't right. give a shit about that. He's thinking. How much money can I take from this one person this one time and be done with them? Right? Oh, uh, yeah. Just so that, you know, because he's assuming that, you know, I have no knowledge, I guess, of, of the right, industry. Right, but you don't know what you're doing. So, so if somebody else were to approach him and hit him with that price, and, you know, they let's say somebody puts their entire life savings of, you know, I don't know, 60, 70 well, grand or there's whatever. There's a lot of cigars over there still. In, Into the industry, right? Right. And then they can't fucking sell them. Right. So this guy just totally crushed what somebody's hard-earned money is for their whole life. 
Yes. And, dude, it happens a lot in oh, this I'm industry. Sure it, does. sure, it does. It's complete bullshit. Yeah. There's guys that come in here with cigars that they've done and they're wanting those type of prices. And you're just like, mm, it's not that kind of cigar, buddy. Sorry. It's just absurd. It's absurd to me. It's absurd. So, um, I hope that our listeners hung out to the end and got the meat and potatoes of this podcast because that's definitely some information that I think everybody should know. So when we put in the title, he tried to fuck us. <laughs> we don't negotiate with terrorists. Don't nego- oh, yeah, we negotiate with terrorists. Gorilla piss. Gorilla piss. And we don't negotiate with No, there was something else too. Megalodon. Oh, Megalodon. Megalodon. I got to write all this down or I'll forget. For the title. For the title. <laughs> Episode 91. Gorilla piss. G-O-R-I. <laughs> Gorilla piss. Twenty bucks says you spell gorilla wrong. G o r i l l a. When you wrong? when you put it up. Oh, probably. Megalodon. And we yeah, don't. I don't think there's a proper way to spell <laughs> megalodon. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Right. Oh, see, they're gonna get so much better. With I mean, these I'm types. so intrigued. I want to listen right now. I know. Oh, I can see what this is. For some reason terrorists are to take over the Cigar Hustler podcast presented by Roma Craft Tobacco. Right. Right. And that's why I don't work with anybody from my product outside of the Nikos Winio factory. Well, Skip Martin is such a nice man. He Isn't he? And he's isn't very, he fair, very fair, I'm sure, with every business. He's a great. Well, well he's honest. Great business. He's an honest man. We right. should just call him Honest Skip for now. Honest Skip. Honest Skip, the nicest man in the cigar industry. I can't wait till you see him again in person <laughs> for the first time. It's going to be so amazing. It's going to be so awkward. It's going to be a big I'm going to see Michael very soon. I want you to hug him and just hold him <laughs> and just not let go. Just stand there holding his hand. Like, I'm like thank you. Just going to hold his hand. Ask him if he needs do you need anything. Skip, do you need anything? Can I get you something? Can I get you something? Want something? Do, you want, do you want a drink? Do you need some rum? Want some rum? Uh, I can't wait till the next post. He's like, now I'm regretting <laughs> purchasing. Can you send that back, please? Uh, you know, I've thought about it, and I really don't want you to have it anymore. <laughs> really don't want. Do me a favor, just take it and throw it off the balcony. <laughs> I don't need it. I just don't want you to have it anymore. Would you tell Palmer stop calling my phone, please? <laughs> so, um, which is daughter's birthday? I have to send Fiorella something for her birthday. <laughs> it's is Amazon July. deliver down there? Does it deliver? No, it no. You got to go through channels. I'll have to take it myself. There you go. <laughs> Delivered. Bing bong. Hello. Hello. Do you like to come in? Are you here to visit? No, no. Just dropping this off. Yeah, I got to go. I got to go. I got to get back in that car. <laughs> it's coming back around. <laughs> so there you go. Huh. What a great oh, show. I feel so much better now that I said that. <laughs> you got that <sighs> off your chest? Oh, yeah. Well. Amazing. Should we shoot footage tonight during the inventory? No. But, oh, oh <laughs> and, and at the end of the conversation, I did say, let him know that I thank him for the podcast for content. For the podcast content. Fuck yeah. Yes. I liked it first because we were, it was a three-way text because our friend was down there. He was asking me who you were. What's his other phone number? Who is this other person? That's awesome. He had no idea. He had no idea who I who I put into the conversation. Hey, uh, you added somebody. You added somebody. Who is this? Oh, uh, I can't wait till he talk? gets here. I'm going to put him on blast, too. He wants to fly up and visit. Mm, I bet he does. Mr. Bougie now. Yeah. All right, uh, this has been uh, episode 91 of the Cigar Hustler podcast presented by Roma Craft Tobacco. Nine away from 100. Nine away. I have several ideas for the 100th show, and some will be harder to do than others. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to play out. All right. I might need some help from your wife. Mm, I don't know about that. You guys can't, you can't you're too close now. <laughs> so She's coming. Oh, she'll be here tomorrow. Maybe I'll, if I remember, I'll ask no, her. No, now she can't come. She won't be here. <laughs> She's here like four hours before you get here. I have plenty of time to talk to my oh, friend, Brittany. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. May I tell you got the girl? No, there's no girls oh. in my family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's no girl. If it's a girl, I'm definitely you, not I'm mine. You, she looks like you. We got a fucking problem, pal. <laughs> and I got a doctor to yell at because I got fixed years ago. Wow. All right. All right uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, remember, go to Patreon.com and search for a Cigar Hustler podcast because we are not adult rated anymore. You can go to teespring.com for all your show swag needs, your keychains, your phone covers, your beach towels, your t-shirts, oh, cares about and that? sweatshirts. Just make and sure you subscribe to the YouTube so you don't and miss And subscribe anything. to the YouTube so, so, you, so you don't, don't miss, anything. miss anything. And so, yes. All right. All right. Thank you. All right, bye.